good people, good Broncos, and freaking sharks. So we just landed in Louisiana. Is it Louisiana or Louisiana? I don't know. But uh, I think we got a Bronco waiting for us outside. I hope so. I, I'm pretty positive that's what it's going to be. So, on our way out here, this place is huge. We're in a huge city, way bigger than home. Good flight. It was like this whole time. Yeah, the whole time. Two hours of that. Yeah. I'm like drunk, but I'm not. It was a great time. Let's go to Holly Beach and meet some new Bronco owners. Super excited for this. Let's do it. Things are escalating on the escalator. It has its ups and its downs. We don't know how to act in public. Sorry. Look at this place. It's huge. Seems right. Look, there's a Bronco out there. Think that Bronco's for us? See it? I see a Bronco out there. I'm gonna go get in that Bronco. Seems like a friend. Somebody took our spare tire cover and bought it all the way down to Louisiana. What is going on? I recognize that. I mean, I think I need to just get some buckets and beat on them at Bronco events. Ice cream cone's taller than you. <laughs> They're contradicting. Got this and then this. <laughs> <laughs> what are we going to eat, Monica? Oysters and boudin. 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 We need and boudin. Crackling. 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 <laughs> they say it's like a soft pork rhyme. We'll figure this out. Look at that. Just look at that. <laughs> so here's the thing, guys. Tonight we're sleeping on the couch. So we got off the couch and we're gonna go create an adventure. We're told there's gators around here. All right, like those are huge lizards, I think. They'll eat the hell out of you. So we got given this sweet flashlight and we're gonna go try to find some alligators. Their eyes glow red, per David. So let's go find a gator. Maybe. They said snakes. Great. This is stupid. What are we doing? Well, that ain't no gator, but that's a damn good looking bronco. Fish. No gator. Let's go find a gator. Alligator! Well, I don't know what kind of fish them are, but them are huge. There's like a green light in there. Gator? Here, gator, 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 gator. So here's the thing. This water is like an alley to all these homes. I think that's why they call them alligators. But so far, we're not seeing any. We saw a frog and some weird like little black things in the grass. Lots of little fish. We'll try again. We'll find us an alligator on this adventure. Come on. Look at some of these Broncos running around. You can't beat this. That is freaking awesome. We got Bronco on Bronco action here. This is a solid axle swap Bronco, and this is an independent front suspension Bronco. They're gonna do some stuff. Oh, 
All right, we've never been to the, you know, the beach before, all right? So, we're just scoping out what people are doing. They're fishing this for sharks. This guy caught a freaking shark. Like, I'm not even making this up. Like, they were catching these, like, little guys the other day. This one's, like, huge. So, we're gonna, we're gonna, like, sneak in on their adventure that they're having. We're gonna show you a shark. That's awesome. I mean, look, there's fins sticking up. Oh, it's like jaws. Look at that. He's like right in here. Look at, look at his fin. Look at him. Look at that. Holy crap. That's insane. <laughs> yeah. Does this happen here? Look at that. Jeez. Oh, he got off. He got off? I ain't getting in no shark infested water. That's, no. You can keep on that. That's like, I like my feet and my legs my thighs and I like my wife so don't be swimming all right <laughs> let's get our toes wet you know yeah. just dip them that's it that's insane I mean that thing was like like the size was a, a medium grown child like, that like movie? yeah <laughs> that was cool anyway let's uh get back to some Bronco action there is more and more showing up here at Holly Beach this is awesome good people good Broncos and freaking sharks all right, check this out, guys. We have got, I'm gonna slaughter the name, so you just tell us what your company is about. Meraki Hammocks. Check this out. So, you got a soft top or even a hard top, this is gonna fit in there. And now, you got a place to take a nap in your Bronco. So Monica's gonna model it for us. And I believe, if I'm right, you've got a two-person hammock, too. I do. Well, right. we, we like to stay warm. So, a two-person hammock, that'd be pretty awesome. Yeah, so in the four-door, I can do a tandem hammock side by side setup, or the the solo like Monica's in, and then in the two door Bronco, it's a solo hammock. Awesome. Yeah. Cool. That looks really comfortable. I mean, I could get behind that. Uh, yeah. Plus, it's going to save a lot of room from you know the rooftop tent. I mean, that takes up a lot of real estate up here. So, you have this, nice. and you can hang two side by side. Side by side. That and is the, and, awesome. And, and, <laughs> Last week, two people who had rooftop tents contacted me, and they're taking theirs off. Awesome. And yeah. replacing it with, with hammocks. So I think nice. that's kind of cool. Where can they uh, find them at? Um, hang at MeraukeeHammocks.com. That's my email address. That's the easiest way to get a hold of me. Hang at MeraukeeHammocks.com. Awesome. Now, this is really cool. And here. you see, you see, <laughs> I'm set up for the weekend, so all my gear is in the back, and this is Got a minimalist way to, to travel. Yeah, no, that's awesome. Plus, what's it take? Maybe a minute or so to hang that thing up and well, you're sleeping. Well, after you have the brackets installed, which takes five minutes, then it takes like half a minute to actually hook, hook it up it. each time. Nice, that is awesome. And, and you so the brackets just stay there. The brackets stay in place, and you can leave the hammock up if you just push it on the other side of that seat. Oh, yeah. And okay. it's totally unobstructed. Just hook it out of the yeah. way. Yeah. That is awesome. Well, that's what we love about the Bronco is the community behind it in the aspect of developing really cool parts and off-road features, you know. <laughs> we don't have the kids. We could do this. This would be awesome. <laughs> put the kids in the tent. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Put them up top and we'll be in here, you there know. You, there you go. That's awesome. Yeah. Sleeping there like a vampire. Yeah. <laughs> that's sweet. One size fits all. I like that. This this is up to six foot three inches. Okay. And then the tandem hammock is up to six foot. Okay. And you've and, got these for two door Broncos as well. And that's up to six foot. Really? Yeah. Nice. Okay. That's awesome. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. And, no, that's, and, and I know that's it's sweet. six foot because I'm the I'm the test the dummy. test one. <laughs> <laughs> so now we're just gonna get some lunch. You know, they got these like mud bugs. What do they call them? Crowfish or something? Crowfish. Crowfish. We're gonna try some crowfish. Okay, no, we're crawdads or crawfish. They're crawfishes. Crawfish. Yeah. Why are crawdads, they a fish if no they don't swim? Them. They crawl like a crab. I mean, They're like honestly, a crab swimming fish. I don't love crawfish, so don't tell nobody because I'm in the south and I can't don't tell them. anybody that Tyler doesn't love crowfish. But he's I, in the south. I love shrimp, but I think they have shrimp there. So. Oh, he's got yeah. shrimp here, so we'll be sad. But I just 
I'm in but fear for this. We're gonna. This is gonna be a mess. Texas lobsters. Texas lobsters. So let's go get some crawfish. It tastes a little bit like mud. Mud. They call them mud, mud bugs. bugs. I mean, yeah. They, that's, that's see, what they I'm do. saying. Yeah. They yeah. Taste yeah. Like mud. So here's what we got: is we got pro fish right in these bags here. And then they're gonna take them. And they're gonna put them in a bath. We're gonna warm them up. The crawfish get a little cold. You don't want to eat cold crawfish, so you just put them in there, and you know. They get a little bubbly and we eat them. Poor crawfish. That's sad. I'm excited. We got live action going on right now. See, Tyler, Bronk Buster, he, uh, he likes to lock himself out of his vehicles. So, he threw his keys in his truck and just locked it down. So, AAA to the rescue. Let's document this. This here is a professional breaker inner of the cars. And this is the professional of locking the keys inside. Stuff, right? You know, so no. look at this. I wonder what these little buttons do. What are them? Do you, do, does that unlock anything or it's I weird? You want to call somebody, but I don't know. Yeah, that's a, it's, it's dial up. You don't need that. Dial up internet's no good anymore, so I just don't use it. Yeah, we use dial up tow trucks. Just dial them up and they show dial up. Dial them up, that's right. He bought this brand new about a month ago. And this guy's serious about Broncos. He's already got 25,000 miles on it in like a couple short months. And a sweet amount of damage. Amy's got that covered. <laughs> oh, there we are. Back in business. Thanks for unlocking the truck. This guy's awesome. He like was in here fishing around and just hooked the keys and brought them out. So now Tyler's back in. Oh, look, he even brings water. Awesome. Now back to the regular program schedule. Crawfish and mud bugs. Let's see what we got here. I hear they're spicy. Hot! That's what they say, the Cajun. Down here in the bayou. The bayou? Is that what it is? Bayou. You know it's good when you use a, you know, spatula that's the size of a paddle. That's what I was using in a kayak. Did that. you just, you that was your kayak? I was using this yesterday when I was fishing. Yeah. I was like, well, yeah. It draws the fish closer because the you know good flavor coming off there. <laughs> so you just crank the head. If you pinch the head when you suck it, all the juice comes out of it. And normally all you got to do is just crack this and you peel that first layer off. And then pinch the back and all the meat comes out. <laughs> or once you do it for a long time, you don't have to do nothing. You set your teeth just right, <laughs> all comes out. Nice. We're gonna practice because we got no experience. So it's what they don't tell you. This is kind of hard. You gotta just like take these things and like crack them apart, and then uh, pull this out of there. And you get the meat. There's like that. Do I have anything on my face? There's a clean. Wait, you're ripping the claw off first. Ah, see, I'm missing a step. Rip my claw off before you eat it. <laughs> Come up here in Texas and we're still in a white bronco. See what we did? We got we got here a white bronco and we're still in it. Still in a white bronco. <laughs> This event is awesome. Just hang out and talk Bronco stuff. And come and buy yourself some tickets and hopefully win some stuff. We gotta check that out in a minute. And we got early Broncos too. I don't know how many there are. Go ahead and count and let us know. Let me guess like 80 something. It's hard to say. People have been coming going all day. Look at that one. We got some live action going on. We're gonna see some dancing. It's gonna be awkward.
and they just kept going. This place is awesome. Fact of the matter is, is you gotta come out and experience events like this. You gotta get off that couch, create an adventure. It's what it's all about. Get these kids out and play in shark infested waters. Seems right. Rattle, battle, adventures.